Hey guys, so um, today is just a little vlog, it's not a tag, not a challenge or anything, um, but I just want to sort of talk about this one subject. I graduated last year, I did something completely different to what other, oops, to what other like Australian kids do. Um, I did VCAL instead of VCE, so I didn't get a HSC score or an ATAR score or point thing that Queensland gets, I don't know. Um, I did, I did VCAL, which is based on pass or fail. Um, I did that, I dropped out of school halfway through 10 and I did VCAL instead at, um, a uni, <laughs> um, at a uni TAFE place, yeah. Um, and yes, yeah, so I graduated from that last year. Um, and basically every semester you would learn about a different industry so you could get qualifications in one semester so I did on t I did year 10 and in year 10 I only did a semester of year 10 because I did a, another semester of year 10 at normal school at public school um, and for the first semester of year for the sorry for the second semester of year 10 at TAFE we just did tasters so every Thursday we do hospitality and every Friday we do horticulture which is like gardening um, and Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we do like English, maths, well sorry, they called it numeracy, um, English, numeracy, work-related skills, so learning about how to get into the workforce, uh, work, how to be in the workplace, um, and then in year 11, in 11th grade, year 11, whatever, um, we only did one industry per semester, so for the first industry I did was tourism and events management in year 11 and then the second one in the second semester was what did I do? community services which is not what you think it's basically we learnt about um, we learnt about aged care, child care and disability care um, and then we did for each semester we do two weeks of placement except in year 10 I can't remember if we did placement in year 10. No, I don't think so. So for the tourism one, I actually did my placement at where I worked, which was at a fast food restaurant. I worked there in year 10 and year 11, and I ended that at the start of year 12. Um, and then for community services, I did my placement at a childcare centre, um, in the, which was near my TAFE. And then in year 12, I only did one semester of year 12, and that was in the second semester. But in the first semester, I I continued on community services and I did my certificate three in children's services so that was good it was hard but I did it um, like the homework and stuff was in the assessments were kind of hard for me but I made friends and they helped me through it my teachers would let me type notes on my iPad but they wouldn't let me use my iPad in the test for my notes and they didn't tell me that and, and my iPad wasn't printing at that stage and I I don't know, I was just very uncoordinated with my iPad. So what I did, which, don't do this, is copied my friend's notes. <laughs> don't do it. My teachers never found out, but still don't do it. Because in Cert 3 we had open book tests, so we could look at our notes. Um, and then in the second semester of Year 12, I had an agreement with my principal, I guess you could say. And she said that I didn't have to do an industry in the second semester because my Cert 3 was full time then I only had to do one day a week of year 12 and I was meant to get a job for the other four days but I had a job on the weekends. Um, what else? Oh, right. The main reason of the video was to not only tell you about my schooling but also to tell you that it just feels really weird. Everyone in Australia has started sc school today or tomorrow and it just feels weird not starting school because this is sort of my gap year or getting into work because I'm now qualified um, to work at a job. I don't have to go to uni. I don't have to go to college. I'm now qualified to work and I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, it just feels really weird. Like, everyone's writing statuses and some of the like, people that I grew up with, their parents are writing first day of high school and putting a photo of them in their new uniform and everything and I'm just like, another day of relaxing and waiting to get called into work. Because um, I now work at a childcare centre where I get called into work because I'm only casual. Um, and then I'll be starting a new job also as well, only on weekends. That'll be fun. Yeah. So that's sort of an update on my life and I'm still waiting to hear back from Camp Leaders which is a company that 
um, that helps you find a job in the US to work at a summer camp. So camp 2014 is my year. So pardon me, I'm still waiting to hear back from them. So anyway, smile guys. Bye.